say hi. Hi. Let me see your princess dress. Wow, honey. It's so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen if you're new here and today I am doing a pregnancy vlog. So the reason why I wanted to vlog today is because I have made it to 36 weeks. I am officially nine months pregnant. I am so happy. It has been a journey. It's gone by so fast and so slow all at the same time. But today is actually a really big day because not only am I 36 weeks, but it is the day that I get my last shot. My very last McKenna shot. For those of you who don't know what McKenna is, it is basically a hydroxyprogesterone shot that is administered or prescribed to other pregnant mamas that have had a history of preterm labor. So some of you may or may not know, um, my daughter came at 32 weeks. <sighs> I'm so out of breath. <laughs> my daughter came at 32 weeks and that made me high risk for another preterm labor this time around. So in efforts to lessen those chances again, my doctors prescribed me the McKenna shot. You basically get this McKenna shot once a week, every week, normally from 16 weeks pregnant all the way to 37 weeks or however your doctor wants to do it. I started mine in February, so today makes my 14th shot and my very last shot. So I am so excited, I'm so happy. I'm glad to say that the shot worked for me. It has been an interesting journey. It felt like it was gonna last forever, but we're finally here, finally at the last day, and I just really wanted to document this because the way I'm feeling right now, I hope to look back in this video and remember it because this pregnancy had me so worried. I had so much anxiety. I felt so much pressure to make sure that I could carry this baby to term. And it feels like I have kind of fulfilled something. Hitting today, hitting 36 weeks, I feel like I've kind of succeeded a little bit. And I just wanna remember this feeling and look back at this video and hopefully feel the same way years from now. So. I want to take you guys along on this special day for me and for baby. <laughs> I hope to document the process. Hopefully I can get some footage of me actually getting my final shot and sharing that with you folks. And then for other moms who have had preemies, who've had preterm labors, and you're afraid to get pregnant again, because I definitely was, there are options and there are different routes and you don't even have to get the shot. Honestly, this doesn't happen for everybody, but it feels really good to make it to term or make it closer to term than I did the last time. So I'm gonna take you on this journey today, hopefully throw in some other things. I don't know how this vlog is gonna go, but just wanted to vlog today specifically for that reason. So if you'd like to see all of that, please keep watching. And I believe this video, I am making it right now as a self-healing process that I did it. <laughs> so yeah, we can go ahead and get our day started. Callie and I have already had breakfast. I'm gonna drop her off to her grandma and then we'll go get our last shot. Oh my God, I'm so excited, you guys. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Before we head out, I wanted to do this really quickly because I know in my last video I said that I would show you guys how we are prepped for baby so far and I'm in here anyway, so I'm just going to do it really, really quickly. So here in the corner we have the play yard set that I talked about in my haul video. This is from 4Moms. This is the play yard portion. The bassinet portion is in here. Sorry, we have all these boppies and whatnot in there just stored. And then the changing table. This one lifts up like this. You can flip it over the side when you're not using it and you can see baby in the, in the bassinet. But we're just gonna have to figure out this situation because it is next to our dresser. Right next to his crib, I have his diaper caddy. I almost made two diaper caddies because <laughs> we do have an upstairs and a downstairs so I didn't want to have to carry it up and down but it's actually not going to be that hard. I decided to just make one big one and I will carry it up and down the stairs every day as we relocate. So I have newborn diapers set in here. This is a changing mat from Avon Oliver. I think I talked about this in my haul video. 
yeah I did um, I don't plan on using this upstairs since we do have a changing table here or we'll just change them on the bed honestly but this I do plan on using downstairs when I need it Let's see if I can do this with one hand okay and then I have a pack of wipes here in the center a burp cloths if I need it and then in this little wooden box I just try to consolidate all the little things so I do have Vaseline in here I have hand sanitizer here all-purpose balm the diaper rash cream and a thermometer and then the last thing of course is the nose Frida I didn't take it out of the box yet because he's not here and I'd rather it not be exposed until I need it so it's just set back there so that's his diaper caddy and then back here which we have not set up yet is the Frida baby air purifier talked about this a little bit in our haul we still don't know how it's gonna go because we've never used a sound machine or an air purifier before but I did want to put it next to his crib so that I have the option to use nightlight if I'm changing his diaper in the middle of the night so that's there and then right below here this drawer is for him um, since it's right next to his crib i've stocked it with a bunch of swaddles here everything is all washed and prepped for him and then extra newborn diapers so that i can easily restock this as i bring up the caddy at the end of the night i do have infant tylenol ready here gripe water i wanted to make sure i picked up gripe water because he has had so much hiccups this pregnancy i swear so i have a feeling that he's gonna need this when he comes i wanted to make sure i had it and in this little acrylic box that i have here are just sample sizes that i received in registry welcome boxes so lotion diaper rash cream boogie drops i have a nail clipper here and then these little to-go packets of diaper cream so just trying to rid of them making sure they're out and exposed so i can use them and get rid of them <laughs> and then around this dresser here it has all his clothes and stuff so I decided to get these dividers off of Amazon I didn't think I needed them in the beginning but their clothes are so small that it just makes everything a lot easier to see so I bought these off Amazon I will put them down below this first box that I have here are pants some beanies here and then some baby socks i have burp cloths in this box and then back here i have some handkerchiefs if i need them this middle box that i have here is all newborn size so these are newborn onesies and then newborn sleepers and then i have zero to three month onesies and zero to three month sleepers i don't know how big or small he's going to be so i just prepped both sizes and they're ready to go when he does come back here i have some onesies that are still on the hangers they're not washed yet i just don't want to open these if i didn't need them so i think this will be enough clothes for him to get him through his newborn and zero to three month sizes but in the case that i'm behind on laundry or i need more i just have these prepped here i can throw them in the wash and then add them to his collection i just felt that if I wasn't going to use these and they're brand new that I could gift them to someone in need and they're in perfect condition and I can just pass them on to the next family. This one specifically is a preemie size that I don't think we will need so I will be taking this to the hospital with us to donate to the NICU along with some other clothes. This is something that I really want to do. I want to donate clothes to the NICU or the PICU because they took care of my daughter when she was in there. We never had to bring clothes for her. She was always clothed um, and taken care of and it was because of people who donate clothes so if you have clothes that you want to donate that your baby has grown out of or doesn't use go ahead and take it to your local hospital because they use them and families need them and I hope to do that with this baby especially to Kapilani who took care of our daughter so that's the first drawer and then down below we have it's just kind of like storage <laughs> here are some warmer blankets I have washed and prepped some bath towels not too much because i know we will probably just use regular towels these are hand-me-downs from cali and then this is the one that we were gifted i washed it so cute and then i have a ton of washcloths here cali still uses these so i just pull them out from here but there's seriously like 40 of them all washed and prepped boogie wipes back here for when we need them an extra pack of wipes close by these are diaper rash creams when we run out of the other one some extra breast milk storage bags are here and then in here are just my reusable bamboo breast pads I'll probably move these but I just needed somewhere to put them are you okay okay what's going on I have to go under 
hurts. Oh, it really hurt? So that's everything in this lower one. And then I just have this here. I put hangers and things that need to be hung up in this for now, but I think I'm gonna leave that there and make that his hamper, like where we put all his dirty clothes. So they're all in one spot. And hopefully that works out well for us. I'm trying to like find a system before he gets here. So yeah. Yes, honey. Are you ready to go? We're gonna go to Grandma Ree's house and mommy's gonna go to the doctor, okay? Oh no, I really love you. You really love me? I know, but it's gonna be really fast. Mommy's gonna go get her shot and then we're gonna come back home. Is that okay? Why you look so sad? Because I miss I miss my mommy. You miss your mommy. I know, babe. It's gonna be really fast, okay? I really, I really love you. We're gonna go. Mommy's gonna go to the doctor really fast, and then I'll come and get you. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Say, let's go. Let's go. Dropped off Kelly like 20 minutes ago. We were so early because there was no traffic. Um, and I've been driving around like a crazy person because I don't want to go to the hospital yet It's too early and I don't want to have to pay for parking. So um, I ended up at Taco Bell. Oh my god. What am I talking about? I ended up at Jack in the Box <laughs> Not Taco Bell. I'm at Jack in the Box. Um, I said Taco Bell because I ordered four tacos Am I gonna eat four tacos? Probably not, but two just didn't sound like enough for some reason in the moment. So yeah, that's what's happening right now. Updating you on my vlog. It's going well, apparently. It's going well. <laughs> four tacos. Will she eat it? We'll see. Okay, I made it. Don't ask me how many don't ask me how many tacos I ate because I won't tell you. Let's lock my car. Okay, let's do this. All right, this will be your last one. Yay! <laughs> There's a three extra. Three extra? Oh gosh. <laughs> I don't want them. <laughs> yeah. You're dirty. <laughs> Let's get you. I'm done. Sorry. No, it's okay. Yay. All right, that's it. That's what I've been doing for the last 14 weeks. Just getting a poke in the arm and leaving. <laughs> but I can't believe it's over. It feels kind of weird, but nice, but weird. You can like see all the marks on my arm from all the shots that I've gotten. You, uh, you have fun with grandma? What do you want to do now? You want to go to Target? You want to go home and see Coco? What should we do? Go home to see Coco. Okay, let's go home and see Coco. You ready? Knit up at Target because I have to pick up some stuff and then we'll go home. A little shopper. I don't know. This is why we can't bring her to Target. Do you have money? Can I have this? Uh, we'll see. Let me think about it. <laughs> Telling her that I'll think about it has been really helpful. She puts it back and allows me to think about it. Mommy, look at this. Those are so, so, so fascinating. She's like obsessed with a little surprise right now. I don't remember what I came here for. Brytax. Was it Brytax? Something to do with a car seat. I found it. This is what we've been looking Mommy. for. This is what Keanu wanted us to get because the car seats dent our seats and they're driving him crazy. So let me get one of these. I should buy all three for our two car seats, but I'm just gonna get one for now. That one's really cute. I like that one. All right, I guess this is what we're getting. 
really want that. Oh my gosh, dang it. This was the other thing I was looking for. It's like large sterilizer bags. Pro tip, don't get a wagon or a basket. So you have to leave when your hands are full. <laughs> I'm still gonna think about it apparently. Okay, just an update. Um, I just got home from Target. She just fell asleep like not even a minute ago. So um, I'm just gonna hang out here for a little bit. She falls asleep a little bit more. Shoes! Wow. As you can see, nap time lasted all of five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> purse! A purse? She got this LOL from her grandma Marie. <gasps> the dress! She's obsessed with LOL surprise. I see something. A shovel! A shovel? Let me yes. see. Wow. This is... Oh, it's a cup. <gasps> <laughs> wow, she is pretty brave, huh? Yeah, it looks like Anna. Looks like Anna? It looks, looks like you with like Anna hair. Oh, me with Anna hair? <laughs> You can put all your rubbish in there. Thank you. Say thank you, Grandma Marie. Thank you, Grandma <laughs> Well, in the meantime, I guess... Let's get her all dressed up. We'll get her all dressed up. <laughs> <laughs> I also wanted to show you guys my other caddies. So I showed you my diaper caddy this morning. But that was part of like my nesting that I wanted to show you guys. So while she plays with that, I will take you stairs so we can do this really quickly i knew she wasn't gonna nap but i can dream so i wanted to show you like my postpartum caddy that i have kind of prepped for when i come home i'm gonna turn this around really quick so whew, i'm out of breath from walking up the stairs but this is my postpartum caddy this is gonna go right on top of our toilet in my master bedroom but in here i just have the always discreet adult underwear here i have some maxi pads here the always maxi pads and these are from honeypot these are their postpartum pads i just wanted to have options so i put both in here and then this is like a gel circles this was actually gifted to me so i don't know if i'm actually going to use it but it's kind of like tux i guess if anything i'll just use the tux that the hospital will provide me with and then i did go out and buy my own um dermaplast i don't know if i'll even need this because i know the hospital will provide one for me but in the case that they don't i have my own and then of course the oh so popular hairy bottle this specific one i actually got off of amazon i will link it down below it's the same thing as the freedom mom one the only thing this one was way cheaper and i just got it off of amazon and it pretty much does the same thing got that that's everything that's gonna go above our toilet and then i wanted to talk about this the freedom mom postpartum recovery kit i did talk about it a little bit in my hospital bag video um, because a lot of moms swear by this a lot of moms said that they wish they had brought it to the hospital with them instead of leaving it at home i got this as a gift from my dear friend casey some disposable underwear ice maxi pads the perineal cooling pad liners the healing foam and then it all comes in a caddy that you can place on top of your toilet um, i did put this on my registry i'm just gonna leave this at home not gonna bring it to the hospital and if i need it i have it okay so that's everything that's in my postpartum caddy that i have prepped for when we get home i do have other size pads that i can switch out later as my healing progresses and then just leave that caddy right on top of our toilet so i have easy access to it and then the last caddy that i want to talk about my breastfeeding caddy so this one um, i'm gonna switch this around it doesn't look like there's really a system to it but there is and i might have to switch out this basket for an actual caddy just so it's a little bit more organized but this is what i have prepped 
for now. So of course I have my breast pump here. I went with the Spectra S1. This is the blue one that has a rechargeable battery that allows me to be mobile if I need to. Um, now that we live in a two-story home, I didn't want to be tethered to my breast pump and I had it had to be plugged in and whatnot. So I decided to invest in the Spectra S1. This is the cord and charger for it. And then right here I have my Medela breast milk storage bags. They're just in this resealable plastic bag right now, but I can grab those easily. And then of course I have a Hakka here. I'm excited to use this. I've never used one. I talked about it a little bit in my haul video, but have a Hakka here. I also have some Sharpies so I can write the date and ounces on the breast milk storage bag. And that is all sitting in a mug. So the reason I have a mug in here is so after you're done pumping, you can place like your Hakka in there and you know it won't fall down or of course when you're transferring the milk from the cup to the storage bag you just place the cup in there and you don't have to worry about it tipping over it happened a lot when I was pumping for Callie it tipped over and it's like the end of the world I swear so the mug is just for stability of course and I knew I wanted to put one in my caddy this time around the next thing I have here is these milk savers these breast shells that I talked about a little bit in my haul video I have not unwrapped them yet I still have to sterilize all these things that's why it looks like this but I haven't done that yet I'm really excited to try this out and I specifically wanted to put this in my caddy because they are shaped the way that they are so if I need to wear one when I'm sleeping at least I can put it I can put it in my bra and I don't have to worry versus of course the haka I can't lie down with this I don't think the next thing I have here is this Modella hands-free pumping bra so you just place the flange in here and you don't have to hold on to it or worry about it falling off it has a zipper in the very front and this was so helpful when I was pumping for Cali. Um, I do have birth cloths here if there's any like spillage or anything I need to clean up. And then of course the last things are all the pieces that I need for my breast pump. So it does come with this bottle here. I do need to sterilize all of these already. And then in this plastic bag, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this, but this is just the other sizes. But I'm leaving it here just in case until I decide what I'm going to do with it. So that's what I have in my breastfeeding caddy for now. And then, of course, this will probably change when he does come and I figure out a real system. Okay, guys, I think that's everything. That's all I wanted to share. That's how I've been prepping for baby, how I've been nesting and spending my time. I put a lot of effort into these caddies. I've taken things out, put new things in, and I think I am finally in a place where I'm comfortable and ready for him to come. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you're expecting mom, I hope it inspires you to make your own caddies. That is like my goal of, sh of sharing these things anyway. So if you'd like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I think I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for coming on my journey with me and getting my last shot. I am so exhausted, but I hope to look back at this video and feel the way that I'm feeling right now. So thank you for sharing that with me and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.